On behalf of the entire national tour of Frozen, a heartfelt congratulations to all of the winning schools. So there was a contest for one school per state to be granted the amateur performance rights to world premiere Frozen. So I applied online and you have to have like, you have to submit plans and you have to submit photographs. So it's like the idea of how do you, how are you inclusive in your community? And so I applied and we were, we were notified in September that we won the rights. Every new challenge, I like to think we come up with inventive ways of solving the problems. And uh, luckily I have such an amazing team around me. All these kids come together so from middle school, high school, elementary school. Um, you have different teachers, different parent volunteers. We would bring in faculty and staff. We would bring in parents and all ages of people. So it's beautiful to watch and to see and then have it come together is amazing. People in this close proximity to you notice everything. And it's a very small space. We're gonna have 100 people in here. By the way, Sunday's show is already sold out. They put all their efforts into it and to, to come across like they are the character in the song. And if I don't do my job right, it could sound different than it's supposed to. And as long as everyone does their part, you can do amazing things like this. It's been like really hard and because it's so hard it's very rewarding to be able to like get it together finally. And every actor, every character, they have a purpose, they have, they have intentions, they have motivation. You have to find that motivation and, and apply it and I think that's really what makes it come to life. I definitely like feel some pressure of trying to like live up to their expectations of like a, oh my gosh, that's Elsa. So that's what the contest really is about. Like how does your community embrace theater as a way to sort of melt away all of the differences and the barriers and to connect people. I want to deliver a fun show that keeps audience members on, on the edge of their seat. Something special, of something familial, and just something that makes them go, wow. I just want to make sure that like all of the little kids walk away and they're like, we actually got to see all of these characters that they, they have loved for so long that they get to come to life. To give kids the power to create and to be invested in a group effort because those are skills that are going to serve them and our, our, our society in the future. I mean, that's what it's about.